Okay, so hi everyone. Today, <laughs> so, today uh, I'm gonna be joined by uh, Greta, my friend Gigi, uh, and we're gonna make a filter coffee. So hi, Pipi. Um, so basically, yesterday I did uh, also filter coffee with uh, Axel, Axel Min. And uh, today we're gonna do this in English. Uh, yes, so if you don't speak English, well, you can try to restream the video of yesterday, but I'm gonna upload it. Uh, and otherwise you can follow today. So I'm waiting for GG to connect. He's very on time, so it's 11 sharp. So he should be joining us uh, anytime soon. And today, well, today we're gonna work on Kalita. Um, so if you have a Kalita at home, feel free to ask uh, any questions. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna try to answer this. So, uh, the idea also of the streams, uh, once again, is to really push you to change your habits and to try to buy a uh, coffee on the... Uh, ah, GG, switch to the other account. Um, so it's important to buy to small roastery and try to buy like uh, local, I would say, and stop buying coffee basically in grocery stores where it's like industrial coffee, commodity coffee. So basically I'm working for Or, so of course I'm going to promote the roastery I'm working for. Uh, you can go on the website of orcoffee.be and you can order very easily a coffee um, roasted for filter, for espresso, and also ground, depending on how you brew coffee. So GG is landing, so accept it. Other roasteries in, in around, it's Mock Coffee, Belga Co, Wide Awake. Hey, what's up GG? Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh my God, I have headphones problem, of course. I can only hear you on one ear. That is so weird. Ah, it's not on. It's not on my side. I don't know. Wait, I'm gonna try to put it back. Uh... Hello? Hello? Okay, can you no, hear me? No, okay, I'm gonna do it without today. It's fine. How are you doing, Jose? Ah, the sound changed. Yeah, it's because I'm now ready. I'm. Is it the sound okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything is perfect. So, um. Good. So, yeah, so Gigi is my neighbor, basically, and, uh, and uh, Marta also. Marta is my savior, basically, because she made me some amazing masks so I can go outside. No, but it's true, man, I'm super enthusiastic. <laughs> I am so proud now with my mask in the street. Wait, I'm going to get it. Uh, it's over here. <laughs> you know, I had to go from... Uh, you know, those kind of uh, ethnic uh, patterns that, you know, no judgment. But then I had decided <laughs> all black. Hmm, I am ready for this, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but <Perfect>. anyway, um, <clears throat> for, the, for the people who don't know you, who are you? Me, I'm a, um, I'm a photographer and I work for uh, 254 Forest. Cool. Okay. With That's... Uh, Pierre and Rebecca. And so, do you have a, a, your a own professional uh, Instagram account for your photographic work? No, I just do, do everything on the same account. Ah, okay. But I thought at some point you had a profile with Sander. Yes, I also have. I also work with uh, Sander. So I do my own projects, and then I do some projects with uh, my very close friend uh, Sander. Yes. Sambo. And. Yes. Um, we have, we work together often on projects together. Um, so it's easy. It was basically we wanted to do it together because it, it was easier for us to start out because we could help each other. Because um, it's, it's, you usually need a bigger team when you're doing uh, fashion photography. Yes. So are you still working together? Or you did a split? 
No, we're still working together. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, 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 <laughs> Okay, so um, so as I mentioned before, you are my neighbor, and uh, yes. you have really good coffee equipment at home. So this one is going to be maybe uh, for people who have no idea of how to do filter coffee. It's going to be interesting, but it's going to be maybe a lot at once. But um, what what equipment do you have at home? How do you brew coffee? <coughs> What's your routine? Uh, so I basically have this. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, I am in love officially. This is so beautiful. I got this from for my Christmas some a while ago. I think it was from Hunting and Collecting. They had it there. Wait, how do you know that Santa uh, went to Hunting and Collecting to get your Christmas present? Because I always request, like, I make a list of things I want and then... Yeah, but I didn't things. know that Santa was aware of special <laughs> Thing. So thanks to you now we have. But it's only for the good kids. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you have a grinder? Do you have a scale? Do you have a kettle? Yes, I have a kettle. I have. Yeah, we can do scale. Bro. Okay. I think that we have very similar equipment because I also have this one from. I oh my god! The... You my coffee twin. This is scary. We can do a we can do a grind off the first first to finish. Oh yeah, let's do that. A grind <laughs> contest. Oh man. <laughs> I am ready for this. <laughs> Wait. So, and then for water, I usually just use my oh, it's uh, sliding down. I usually use my Brita filter uh, water and then yes. I up. Cool, okay. Wait, I'm struggling a little bit now because uh, I want to see how I can save those video. You know, I've been struggling so much uh, lately to upload and it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, I cannot save it afterwards. Okay, fine. All right, so today we're gonna do like a filter coffee. So we're gonna use basically oh, yeah. a ceramic cone. Yes, oh my God. I also have a ceramic cone. We are sink. Yeah, so this is, of course, it's all ceramic cones. The Kalita, the 185. I'll start maybe with it. With putting some yeah, water. Yeah, the 185 on. has been designed to make two cups, but basically I use it to make one cup because the smaller is really too small for me. And I don't know, I think it's better. It has more space also to, you know, brew with love and it works. Wow. Yeah. So we're gonna do the Kalita and paper papers, of course. And um, okay, so usually what I do first is I preheat, I heat um, water from the top just to wet my filter. Okay. Yeah, and I just wait for the everything in once. Because yeah, it's because I use a, a bottle water and I don't want to spoil it just to wet my filter. Uh, but so basically, the idea of making the filter wet, most of the time people say is to rinse it, to not taste the cotton and some some papery flavor. But honestly, I challenge you to taste a papery flavor. It's really, it takes a lot to be able to taste it, especially the coffee. Yeah. But it's more that when you're going to make coffee, the first big drops with the good stuff, you want it in your coffee and not to wet the filter if the filter is dry. So it's a good ah, yeah. thing to just wet the filter with just water. So when you put the coffee in it, you have the good stuff right from the beginning. So here I'm gonna put a little water in my uh, boiler and I'm just gonna put it to heat. Also yeah, I'm on the side, I'm already heating my... Uh, I'm doing my coffee right in my cup. I, do you heat that? Yeah. I never do, actually. You're the first person uh, I kind of meet that does. I know, damn it. Yeah, so I'm curious. Well, it's, it's, it's made for that, no? Or you, you really have to, everybody just boils it somewhere separately. Well, usually I boil it separately because I don't want to burn this, but maybe just uh, me, I should try. I remember I paid, I paid it on it my side. It looks the same on my side. So... How much coffee to water do you usually use? Uh, usually, I was doing like 17 to 17 grams of coffee. Yes. And then like 
350 grams of water. Yes. But now I've changed it up a bit. I'm doing 22 grams of coffee and 400. Huh, okay. Of, what, need for 400 grams of water, yeah. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to weigh, I'm going to do a different ratio. I'm going to weigh, yeah, I'm going to do actually a coffee from a uh, mock today. Okay, me too. Uh, yeah, I know, I work for off, but uh, it's a small world, so we're going to do Yeah, but mock is the best, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, I have a technical issue, it's going to cut, yeah. so sorry. <laughs> No, we have we have uh, all at work, and I really uh, we have oh, come really on. like that. Too. I like them both, but mocha just honestly it's just because I'm lazy and it's closer by my. Yeah, I know it's around the corner, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna weigh uh, since it's a uh, washed bevel. I'm gonna weigh 17 grams to three for 300 milliliters of water. So well, let me do. Uh, let me do the same then. So we can do the, otherwise if I'm doing 22, it's not fair for our uh, grind up. Yeah, but you have another coffee, yeah? so maybe if you like it like that, so you don't have to adjust to, to me. And then since I use my grinder a lot and change a lot recently, I just want to make sure I have the right grind size. And here usually it's uh, seven um, clicks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yesterday I realized I could push to eight uh, to have a, a medium grounds, uh, grind size. That is usually the best grind size to make filter coffee. Wait, so do you do it to the right? So wait, JJ, so this is the Bolex grinder. So basically you have to take it from the tip here. Yeah. And then to set the, the, the click uh, at the bottom. Okay. But it's important to handle it by the tip because otherwise it will not be the right thing. If also, if uh, you might have some chunks uh, stuck in the burrs, you can unscrew it m much more yeah, and then yeah. just try to pull out the, 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 the chunks. It's still okay. And then you take it here, you, you, you screw it to the maximum and then you unscrew eight click. And then well, no. that's my type of grind size. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Eight. yeah. I use it for something else too, like pepper, cardamom, uh, a lot of stuff actually. Yeah, thanks. It's not the twentieth of April yet. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put my beans in the grinder, right? Yeah. Voila. I'm ready. I'm going to put the lid, the handle. Man, I am ready. So three, two, one, go. I'm done. Yeah, but uh, okay. Yeah, well, I uh, did like uh, 50, 100 push ups yesterday. 100. Oh my I didn't do any today. I, I knew I was going to do this, so. I yeah, I yeah. Makes Thanks. sense. <laughs> well, okay, guys, I will keep the ground for after because what I usually do, and I'm going to take my phone, it's going to be easier. So what I do usually is I will brew my coffee directly in the cup. And so I'm going to take a filter quickly. Voila. To put my Kalita, beautiful okay. Kalita filter. And then what I'm going to do actually is... Uh... Oh my goodness. So I have hot water that I will put here to wet my filter. Yeah. 
to have the really good big drops from the beginning of bring my coffee after in my cup and not to uh, to wet my filter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do like some bottle, um, voilà, some spa water. I'm gonna actually fill my cup. So I know I will have more or less the good measurements and I will not spoil too much bottled water. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a plastic bottle, but uh, my grocery guy, he only has this for now. Uh, I don't have glass bottle, which is better. I add a little more water just to make sure that during the boiling process, I still have enough to make my coffee. Okay. I will put this now to boil. It's going to be quick. But so what I do in terms of temperature, I usually boil it here to the maximum. And then by putting the water in this container, in this kettle that I will empty, by the way, um, I will have a drop of temperature that is good to make coffee. So wetting the filter, I just pour into the center and I slow and I pour really fast. So it will kind of feel the... Okay, temperature. wow, you really feel it. So what? I just wet it. I basically just go over the edges and make sure everything gets wet. Yeah, yeah, but it's basically that's the same I do. It's just that I don't pour on the side. I just pour very quickly in the center. And basically the end result, it's, it's the same. So now it's, it's all wet. You can see it. So the next step, by the time I have my boiling water, is just to put the coffee in, in the filter. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to shake it a little to have a flat, um, to have flat ground at the bottom of my uh, filter. Then, of course, I will put it on my scale. I will tar it. Oh. And then I'm ready to go. Same here. Wait. So you already have a, a routine of green coffee, right? So yes. You don't have many questions. I have a few. I have. I'm, I mean, I have a few for the. Like, I start with um, doing just like 30, 30 grams of water, and then waiting for thirty seconds. Yes, that's good. And Actually, then, what I've I've noticed is usually I then pour it over. Do you start in the middle or do you start? Yes. So usually I start in the middle uh, doing circles to the sides and I try to not clean the filter. Usually people pour on the filter to clean the sides, but yeah. just put the water in the slurry and uh, yeah. then you will give it a little stir like this. So the grounds on the side will fall at the bottom, but don't do it when you pour coffee. No, okay. The first phase, the blooming, is to be able to have the carbon dioxide out of the coffee and yeah. to have a better extraction and not that shield that stays there. Um, the blooming, usually I pour two to three times the way of the coffee. So if I have more or less 17 grams, I know for that first phase, I can pour up to 60, 60, uh, set, uh, 50 to 60 grams of water okay. uh, to, to bloom properly, which I'm going to do quite soon because my water is cooling down. Yeah, mine too. And then after 30 seconds, I pour uh, almost to 200, 200 total in one minute time total. Okay. Tell me when you ready. I'm ready. Wait. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah? So I will time my scale and then I will pour up to two to three times the way of the coffee. Also really wet the slurry, not the sides. And it should do a little, a few bubbles, which is clearly degassing from the carbon dioxide and making... That's already quite a lot. To, well, it depends. Two to three times you reach it really fast, huh? Yeah, yeah, but I usually just do like the half. No, like double, double the, the amount, like 30. Wait, JJ, we have to pour. So now I'm going to pour slowly, doing circles. I'm not cleaning the filter. And I will pay attention to have 200 grams in total on my scale. Up to one minute. I'm not, the, the coordination between... Yeah, it's filming and uh, it's like 
It's a challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, but it's your cone is really beautiful. Yeah, it's a bit dirty now. Yeah. Having troubles with my So wait, now it's 115 so I will pour up to 300. All right, let's Slowly. try that. Well, to, let's say 250. And then I will wait until oh. it's 130, 140 to pour the last uh, amount of water I have. Oh yeah, okay. So let's do it. And so when you're done here, quickly give a small gentle stir like cir uh, in circles. So the coffee grounds on the side will fall at the bottom. I did too much coffee. No water, but yeah, that's okay. It's fine, but take your cone like this and yeah. circle it a little so the ground will fall at the bottom. Yeah, perfect. Ooh. Not too much because otherwise you will create more friction and agitation between the water and the ground, the coffee ground. So you will increase the extraction rates and sometimes you might have bitters. So don't stir it like crazy, but a little gentle, firm stir will help to push the grounds at the bottom. So usually you will have more, you know, coffee. So ah, Ben is here. Ben that we will join on Sunday for cold brew, concentrate, cocktail, extravaganza. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yes. So uh, yeah, this is my coffee. So you see the time is 2.45. Usually between 2.30 and 3 minutes for Kalita, it's the best. So here, if it doesn't work until three minutes. Yeah, of course, I put a bit more water in, so it doesn't really. Yeah, so what you can do at three minutes, if you still have a little water at the bottom, it's fine. But this water might take a long time. So usually I cut it. Water. Yeah, me too. My okay. I don't want to let it steep for too long. So next time. I know that I will pour my, my water a little faster, or I will grind just a little coarser to be able to match the time for what usually I do with a Kalita. So you can tweak what, a few steps what, to make what's, it happen. What's the, what's the best thing to start with, time or, or coarse grind? There is not one single answer for that. I think it's up to you to experiment. Since we were okay. talking a bit today, I know that I, I was late in my pouring process. But also, if it doesn't work uh, close enough, I will change the grind size. I push to nine clicks instead of eight, for instance, to really have a proper grind size for the next coffee. But the grind okay. size, you might need to adjust it because depending on the coffee you brew, the density of the beans is not the same. Even when the coffee is ground, you have more resistance for some denser beans and less resistance for looser beans or darker roasted beans. So it's kind of all of a, you know, equation and you have to see what to change uh, most of the time. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Uh, okay, that was fast. I doubt that a lot of people, <laughs> no, but I doubt that a lot of people have the equipment that we have at home because this is already specific. And in Belgium, uh, I'm not sure, I mean, probably in Flanders, a lot of people have it more than in Wallonia. I'm alone, so I speak without shame about this, but it's a cultural reason. People, for Latin culture is more centered to espresso and espresso shots and Mediterranean style coffee, where Flanders is definitely into specialty coffee, slow brew methods, and all that creativity that we have now in the coffee industry. So I hope that more people will also try filter because it's, to me, it's the best way to enjoy it. How, do you make filter every day? Yeah, every morning. Every it's my yeah. morning routine to, I yeah. mean, for me, I haven't bought any like fast machines to do coffee because I kind of like enjoy doing this like at my own pace in the morning it's like a ritual you know yeah it's like your yoga session it's five minutes but it's it's nice exactly. yoga and gym and fitness combined you know, <laughs> overthinking, overthinking. yeah exactly <laughs> mathematics so, so it's very mental you have to you know like how much coffee for how much water how do i make the calculation it's it's kind of a heavy process i admit yeah yeah but it's all automated i mean in my head it's just the uh, it's, I just go through it. I don't really think about it anymore. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks complicated, I, but it's 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 yeah. Once you've done it a few times, it's it's quite. It's easy pretty easy. Do. Yeah. So for anyone who's watching, if you want to do filter coffee at home and you don't know how to do, uh, feel free to send me a message <laughs> because I can guide you through. And then you late. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's, when we go to the gym, though, I never make coffee in the morning. Then I just go straight. Yeah, straight but away. you have good coffee at, at the office. Yeah, then we just we have a coffee at, at, at work. Yes. And there we also have filter coffee, so I'm happy everywhere uh, with the coffee I have. I'm happy with the coffee in my life. Ah, oh, good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, if you want to have good beans at home, please support local roasters. Go to orcoffee.be. And buy beans online. We have amazing coffee. I work for R, but I also want to push the other roasters, of course, like Mock. You can also order on their website. Where's the website? Here. Uh, also, Belga, Belga and Co, Wide Awake. All those guys, we need you, we need you now. So please go on, online, buy your coffee. Have you had the coffee delivery recently, JJ? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a new one today, actually. Oh, from so, Mock? Yeah. I ordered two new ones. I, I think one white label and one filter label thing. Cool. Okay. So guys, we are Thursday uh, tomorrow. I will do uh, Italian style coffee with uh, Federico and Delphine from Certo that you know. I ah, nice. And uh, then on Saturday, we're going to do, do cold brew concentrate with uh, Elizabeth. And uh, we're going to make like uh, beverages you can make out of the cold brew concentrate, like ad adding uh, sparkling water, uh, still water, milk and stuff like that. And then on Sunday with Ben from the D-Lens, we're going to do a cold brew concentrate cocktail extravaganza. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like blue cold right now. I will do my dress. I, you know, I have my t-shirt with a... Uh, that's my sign. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, and so then next week, I have a few surprises, but I won't say anything now because I have to confirm stuff. But um, yeah, voila. A few surprises up your sleeve. Yes. This is going, it's going well, no? These, yeah, uh, I'm getting rich on this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have 10 viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Hi viewers, and it's all close friends probably. But it gives me happiness. I think I hope me I too. can help people like really with a few tips to make better coffee at home. And I will try to stream everything as soon as possible. So voila. <laughs> Jeje, do you have any other question? Um, no, I think you answered all my questions. Oh. The 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 thingy is good trick. I didn't I didn't know that. Cool. Do it like that. Uh, besides that, I think I'm just gonna pour me a coffee. Wait. So okay, I had issues uh, recently with the live stream. So uh, because I cannot repost it for now, it's crazy. But uh, I'm that dumb right now. So can we make a small recap that I will use as the video to for the viewers, like how we proceeded? We're not gonna make a new coffee, but just like. A shortening. Wait, let me just give one copy to Marta because she's been waiting all morning to yes. get a copy. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so basically I can... Uh... Wait, I don't know how to do this. It's not easy to improvise uh, those things. So, GG, today we have made uh, Kalita coffee, right? Uh, so, I used beans from, um, from Mock. Yeah. We have uh, Kalita here. This is Kalita filter. Yes. It's very easy to use. Then we have the paper. We have some bottled water of filter water. We have a grinder, a kettle to pour, and this is to measure. Um, so basically what we did today, we just measure the amount of coffee. Maybe I can do the, 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 for the deaf people while you are. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't do it. But so <laughs> basically the recipe of the day, oh my God. Yes, please do. Uh, the recipe of the day was, uh, 17 grams of coffee for 300 milliliters of water. This is the coffee to water ratio. Um, 
And so basically, uh, we have ground the coffee uh, medium size. So on the Parallax grinder, it's very easy. You have a few clicks here, and basically we unscrew uh, the equivalent of eight clicks. So what is grinder in sign language? No, it's a uh, it's an eggplant, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, this is so bad. Uh, so you can put like hot water here, like tap water to rinse the filter first. And then you will measure uh, your how much water you're going to use. So basically I fill my cup and I add a little more. I know it's the right portion. Then I will heat. So first step, I will just wet the filter and empty the water. Then I will grind my coffee, put it in the filter, put my filter on top of my cup put my scale where I measure the time and the way and pour water. Like the first phase will be a little water to like degas the carbon dioxide for 20 seconds. And then you pour water until one minute. You have to have 200 grams in total on your scale. And then the- Circular stirring? Yeah. Starting like from the middle, going out. Yes, exactly. Thanks, JJ. Oh my God. It's harder for me now to do this in English. Uh, and then at one minute, you pour the 100 grams of water remaining to reach the 300 total uh, till one and a half time, total time on the scale. Okay, so you start pouring z between zero and 30 seconds, 20, 40 grams of water. Then until one minute, you have to have poured 200 grams total of water. And then until one and a half, you have to finish your pouring process. So you hit the 300 grams in total on your scale of water. And then it will brew on itself. Uh, brewing time should be between two and three minutes. Voila. If it doesn't work like this, yeah. And then when it's done, uh, basically you take away the filter and you have to push it. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure it's going to be very helpful like this, but at least we tried. So, can we cheer? Cheer. Cheer. I'm already drinking, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Mm. It's good coffee. It's a, it's a nice way of, It feels more fruity than before, somehow. It's not as uh, bitter. Yeah, so basically, the less coffee you put, but not too less, but you will have more access to the, that kind of transparency, which is a positive thing with filter. And also, when you put down a little, like right now, it's getting there, you will have access to the freshness and the, the fruity side of the coffee if you don't taste it when it's super hot. So it's really good to enjoy a, a filter coffee when it's lukewarm and really cooling down because that's the best temperature to enjoy it. Yeah. And when and when you do when you do basically when you do more coffee with the Kalita, then it does have like for example when I do more I tend to really good question. Answer. Okay, so when I do like more than three hundred milliliters on my Kalita, sometimes I do double, not above that because it makes no sense. No. But when I do double the amount, ooh, I'm much love from Pierre. Wow. Um, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> When I do, let's say, like two cups, um, what I want to do is to grind a little coarser, but keep my pouring process. Okay. So I will maybe continuously pour very slowly and hit the time uh, sections naturally, but um, I will grind a little coarser to try to keep my growing time the same as with one cup. I know it sounds strange, Okay. But so I will try to not hit more than three minutes, even for the double amount of coffee I will brew. So I will course a I will grind a little faster ah, yeah. and pour a little faster indeed, but not too fast. It's more on the grind side that you will uh, operate. Okay, so a bit coarser on the on the coffee and and then a little, little coarser, faster, not too yeah. much, okay. but yeah. No, no, no. Mm. But then do I go to nine or to seven? I go to nine. You have to try. Seriously, okay. I cannot say on the Parallax right now. No, no. I'm like seven, eight. Uh, it's I would good... have it nine, so I would even go to 10, 11 to test it. Okay. And you can see then uh, with your pouring time how you can adjust and make it better the next time. Sounds great. I'm going to try that because I, I always thought it was just possible to do like this basic formula. I only, only found that formula online. Yes.
But then, yeah. You can yeah. swing it. You can swing. And usually I use 17 grams to 20 for 300 milliliters of water. So in that range, you're good. Knowing that 20 gram will give you like a stronger coffee. So it's going to be like thicker also in, in mouth. Yeah. Um, 17, 17 grams will be more like watery, but it's very positive also. So it's really between 17 to 20 grams for 300 grams of water, you are in the right spot to make a good coffee. Then it okay. matters. And is, there, and is there a difference in like um, how you treat it if you have different kind of coffee, basically? I mean, yes. If it's more a full taste, you will maybe, will you ask, ask, will you like push it or will you... Um, try to reduce the thickness when you have what sorry when you have like a more full coffee do you do you do it or when you have a more fruity coffee is there a difference there when you really, okay some coffee specialists will have an opinion on this i don't because i think it's a way of uh, it's a matter of taste so you could go for saying like oh if it's a washed coffee with uh, acidity i will do less coffee because i want to increase the acidity and that kind of thing for the profile of the coffee but hey, why not try the opposite way? You know, you can have good surprises too. Yeah, yeah. So experiment your favorite coffee in another way. So I would try 17 grams once and then 20 grams another time. I will try to adjust a little the grind size. You can play lightly with it. But one thing for sure, when you change coffee, um, you, you, you will not most of the time be able to keep the same exact parameters uh, for all coffee you will do especially when you grind coffee and you're just a grind type and stuff but you can decide to keep it when you have a standard recipe most of the time it can work so it's really you know don't don't put yourself in a situation where you, they're not adjusting it to stuff because that's a good point of it actually yeah but don't also overthink it you know at some point just do coffee if you're happy with it that's a good stuff yeah yeah but and do you have any because sometimes you, you taught me once to make like an Irish coffee with, with this. Oh, yeah. Coffee. Oh, my God. Yes. Remember? Oh, yeah. With your, with your pumping technique? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. If you want to do like a, an Irish coffee, um, of course, you will need a little whiskey. Yeah. But you will need a French press. Yeah. Okay. Because, hey, Anna. So, Anna knows this. We have, we have like all the same equipment. Yeah, we definitely it's like scary how we didn't we didn't even talk about this. That's the IKEA one. <laughs> exactly the same <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, we are not neighbors for nothing. Exactly. Um, so the thing is, but the PD with this one is too big, and I, I have like a coffee. You know, I have to use a lot of coffee to be able to uh, foam it. So I, I, I'm definitely in the future buy a smaller one so I don't have too many milk left over. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you put milk in a French press, cold milk and cow milk, it doesn't work with a non-dairy milk. And then you just pump it and you will have a milk texture that is perfect for Irish coffee. So doing filter coffee, adding texturized milk uh, on the French press and a little alcohol and a dash of liquid sugar, it's really paradise. For yeah, the, the, the only problem I had coffee. with it last time is that because um, often with the with these like the, the the coffee isn't like super super warm. It's not like a it's not like a boiling. Uh, I know, coffee. I know. So that's the only tr problem I have there with it, it, the with the Irish coffee. It's not like it's not like super warm. Yeah. So basically, you should um, you should brew your coffee first and then when it's done basically you just have to work the milk and that's it okay so the thing is once you have brewed the coffee you have to serve it like right away because it's cooling down okay? yeah yeah so that's the only thing you have to hurry if you want to keep a little more temperature when you wet your filter wet it on in the container that you will use to serve the coffee so it's heated it's not cold you ah. can put hot water in the different container that's so a good trick yeah yeah you don't increase the drop of temperature but for sure it's fine if your irish is lukewarm if it's cold it's a bit of a pity but it doesn't yeah. have to be like boiling no no no, 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 no. it's gonna be too hot yeah um cool. but yes you can do irish coffee so filter coffee 
and then milk <laughs> in here, and it's gonna be perfection. Yes. Look, my mom is saying this is getting interesting. Yeah, right. And Ruben was saying now we're talking, so definitely I should bring. More She's gonna ask me each time now to make her an Irish coffee. Yeah, but people are thirsty for alcohol in the morning. Oh my god! I mean, okay, morning is eleven something, but uh, hey, yeah. I think I think that's like the a lot of people are struggling. Like, when can you start drinking? It's like. Is 12 the new six? Yeah, yeah. I guess it, it is. It's like South of France, you know. At 11, 12, it's apero time. You go for it. Uh, my mother te definitely took this new habit. And uh, I, I don't know if it's working or not. Or even what does it mean. But uh, yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, it, I think start with a coffee. If you can't, then maybe <laughs> go into Irish coffee. And then just alcohol, pure alcohol. Like and then you're liquor. like, I mean, it's not, not a bad idea because you're awake and you're a bit tipsy. I mean, yeah. that's a good way to start your day. Yeah. So you take a little vodka, you mix it with vodka and a little more vodka. And then it gives you vodka and you can drink it. it it's a bit that's right now. Bit yeah. Um cool. Okay, GG, uh, I'm going to try to figure out, I'm going to spend five more days to try to uh, upload the pictures on YouTube, <laughs> which I failed. Um, you know, if you, yeah, if you need any help, you let me know. Well, don't say me that because you have a big... Oh, okay, can you tell us about the... There is a screening online tonight. Tonight, yeah. Um, so, at two, for, for where, where I work at 254 Forest, we're doing a, a live stream of one of... Pierre Bichère's uh, project. Yes. And it's a 52 minute long hybrid film that was for uh, an exhibition. And um, um, now for the first time, we found like a way to do it um, online, basically. Yes. But it's, a, it's, it's a long film and it's supposed to feel long and it's not, it's not made for uh, being, um, it's not made for scrolling or made for like just checking in on it. It's really made for the experience. So yes, let's so see how it goes a... and if people get enthusiastic about it, maybe we do some more and uh, we're going to see from there. So where can we see the movie tonight? It's on Twitch? It's on Twitch, um, or you can also go to the website 254forest.be slash ah, okay. Twitch, and then you get we you can stream it there also. Ah, cool. Okay, 254forest.be. Dot what? Dot be. The dot com is a was a dildo company. <laughs> <laughs> 254forest.be at 5 p.m. Uh, Brussels time this evening for exactly. a full movie. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, guys, so, GG, thank you so much for doing coffee. I will pass by to get my flask back from the uh, yeah. drip. Yeah, I finished the flask. It was really good again. Yeah, GG is you. totally addicted to cold drip, but this, yeah. I'm not going to do any cold drip session because nobody has this equipment at home, so it doesn't make any sense. But anyway. No. Yeah. Yes. I'll ask it for my next Christmas then. <laughs> yeah, Santa has good coffee taste. Yeah. <laughs> okay, JJ, catch you later. Catch you later, thank you. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Okay, so JJ left. And so, once again, please feel free to order coffee. We need your help. We need you guys to continue to make a good job. So ourcoffee.be is the roastery I work for. You can end up find coffee there. It's free delivery when you buy two bags of coffee. Um, the same with the mock. Belganco, Wide Awake. We all need you to buy coffee from us because we are small roasteries. So help us and see you hopefully tomorrow at 11 for Italian-style coffee with a Certo. Bye.